Subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators. Let's take a look at the problem 9 and 3 quarters minus 6 and 1 quarter. What I like to do first is line up my mixed numbers. I want to make sure that my fractions are lined up with my fractions and my whole numbers are lined up with my whole numbers. And then I subtract starting with my fractions. 3 quarters minus 1 quarter is 2 quarters. And then I go over to my whole numbers. 9 minus 6 is 3. So the answer to our problem is 3 and 2 quarters. Lastly, we want to always check to see if we can simplify our fraction. Both our numerator and our denominator are divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 3 and 2 quarters simplifies to 3 and 1 half. Let's try another problem. 5 and 1 third minus 3 and 2 thirds. Again, I want to line up my mixed numbers. And then I'm going to start by subtracting my fractions. 1 third minus 2 thirds. Hmm, we've run into a bit of a problem. We can't subtract 2 thirds from 1 third. We are going to have to change 5 and 1 third into a mixed number that allows us to do this subtraction problem. This is called renaming our number. When I rename 5 and 1 thirds, I'm going to borrow one whole number from the 5. So there will only be four whole numbers left. And then I'm going to take the one that I borrowed and I'm going to change it into a fraction. I'm going to call that 3 thirds. We need to remember that when the numerator and the denominator are the same, it's exactly the same as one whole. So 4 and 3 thirds is exactly the same as 4 and 1, which makes 5. So now I'm just going to write my new mixed number over on the right. We have four holes, so I'm just going to write that over here, and we have three-thirds and one-third. And I know from yesterday's lesson that three-thirds plus one-third makes four-thirds. And then I just want to line this up with my new mixed number. So now we have four and four-thirds minus three and two-thirds. Now we can go ahead and subtract the fractional parts. 4 thirds minus 2 thirds is 2 thirds. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Lastly, we need to check to see if our number can be simplified. 1 and 2 thirds is already in the simplest form. So the answer to this problem is 1 and 2 thirds. And now you know how to subtract mixed numbers.